starting off this countdown, we have the printing error. Now, supposedly there was a lot of difficulties when it came to printing and publishing the first original copies of the book. In fact, there were a lot of printing errors that they caught before they finally made the perfect copy. But somehow, one of these wrongly printed copies ended up on the shelves for sale and a parent unknowingly bought it for their son. Now, what's the big deal with buying a book that may have a little printing error? Like, sure, you could be upset that you spent money on a flawed book, but it's harmless, right? Well, it is said that the error ended up smearing the image of Clifford, leaving him and Emily looking a little disturbing. Apparently, the color got smeared on one of the pages and it made Clifford and Emily look like they were standing in the middle of a bloodbath or a violent murder scene. It terrified the kid and the parent. But of course, this is just a myth to scare the readers. Making our way down the list number nine, we have the imaginary friend. This legend states that Clifford isn't real. It's just Emily Elizabeth's imaginary friend, meaning everything is in her head and all the adventures she goes on with her pal are fake, which is kind of sad when you think about it. People think that Emily Elizabeth has schizophrenia, which makes her experience realistic delusions. It's also why she imagines Clifford being a massive red dog instead of just a normal sized, normal colored dog. Now, this is just a legend, as you probably guessed, but in fact, Clifford is really named after an imaginary friend. According to the creator, Clifford was named after his wife's imaginary childhood friend with the same name, but her imaginary friend wasn't a dog. In the 8th spot, we have the banned episode. Apparently, there was once an episode of Clifford the Big Red Dog that aired that caused a lot of controversy. Parents were outraged, saying that the episode was too dark and sad for a children's show. As a result, the episode was banned and never aired again. A couple of people on Reddit claimed that as a child, they remember watching this episode. Basically, in this episode, Clifford is taken away from Emily Elizabeth and her family. Apparently, they were deemed being unfit for caring for such a big dog. They also claimed that they can't afford to feed him or look after him properly. That's when Clifford was forcibly removed from their home and placed in a zoo. Clifford, living in isolation in the zoo without Emily, shrunk back down to his normal size. Then, thankfully, he was returned back to Emily. However, parents said it was a very dark and sad episode that really upset their kids. However, there are no traces of this episode online, so it's just a legend. But I did some research and boy would it be expensive to have Clifford as a dog. It said that a dog his size could consume around 540 pounds of food daily. That means he would need to eat around 13 and a half bags of 40 pound dog food a day. If those bags cost around $18.99, then the owner could be spending around $256 per day on food alone. Then you would have the extra $300 a month for the spike in water bill to fill a kiddie pool of water for him, and an estimate of over $4,000 a year in vet bills. So. He's expensive. Moving on down the list at number seven, we have the lost episode. So this episode is way more creepy than the previous mentioned episode. Legend has it that somewhere in the depths of the internet, there's a lost episode of Clifford the Big Red Dog, and it is not child friendly at all. Apparently in this episode, it starts off normal. But then Clifford gets rabies and starts aggressively attacking people. He actually attacks and eats his two other dog friends, Cleo and T-Bone. Then he starts to attack other members of the town before trying to attack and harm Emily Elizabeth. Clifford ends up getting killed and the episode ends with Emily Elizabeth and her dad struggling to dig a big enough hole to bury Clifford. Yeah, that's extremely dark. But don't worry, it's not true. There's no such episode out there, thankfully. In our sixth spot, we have the true story. This legend states that Clifford is actually based off of a true story. It claims that it was about a real girl named Emily Elizabeth who secretly took in a stray dog off the streets and started to look after it without anyone knowing. Apparently, she felt connected to the dog because she related to the dog's lonely feeling. Emily was often poorly looked after by her parents. But with her newfound friend, she felt loved by someone for once. Now, Clifford, of course, wasn't actually a red dog. It said that he was just a reddish brown color from being dirty because she wasn't able to wash him. Now, of course, this is false, but Emily Elizabeth is actually a real girl. It is the creator, Norman Bridwell's actual daughter with the same name. Apparently, he named the character off of his daughter as a tribute to her. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with Clifford Kane. What does Clifford the Big Red Dog and Citizen Kane have in common? You wouldn't think much, but apparently it's said that they exist in the same universe. 
Let me explain. While a teacher was reading the book Clifford's First Snow Day to her class, she realized that the book contained a picture of a young boy holding a sled. The sled had the word Rosebud inscribed on it. Now, if you have seen the movie Citizen Kane, you know that Rosebud was the sled that Kane was playing with when he was taken away from his house as a child. So, could this be a tribute to the movie, or is this little boy supposed to represent Kane himself? Moving on to number four, we have King Kong. This time, this urban legend states that Clifford the Big Red Dog exists in the same universe as King Kong. I mean, okay, let's look at the facts. Kongs are super tall, ape-like creatures. Clifford is a super tall dog. Maybe they both exist during a time where animals can grow to extraordinary heights. So in the 2005 version of King Kong directed by Peter Jackson, the ape is said to be around 25 feet tall. Well, guess what? Clifford is also said to be around 20 feet tall. Then in the movie Kong Skull Island, we see other big animals residing on Skull Island. So maybe that can explain Clifford's height. In reality, the creator made Clifford that big because as a young boy, he always wished he could have a dog that he could ride like a pony. Also, when he was sharing ideas with his wife, he said maybe the dog's name should be Tiny and his wife told him that it was too boring. From there, the big red dog was born. In our third spot, we have the resurrected dog. So here's another made up origin story of Clifford. Legend has it that Emily Elizabeth and her family used to have a normal Labrador retriever named Clifford. Unfortunately, the dog passed away of old age and it left the family heartbroken. That's when Emily decided to look up how to resurrect dead animals. She ended up performing a resurrection on her dog, but it went wrong resulting in Clifford being huge and red. It is theorized that he turned red from Emily's blood sacrifice, but there's no explanation for his height. This also explains how the family can afford to feed and house Clifford. It's because he technically is dead, so they don't have to worry about vet bills anymore or feeding him. Moving on to number two, we have the Big Red Blood Dog. This urban legend states that Clifford is red because the creator used his own blood to paint Clifford. It said that he was so desperate to finish his first version of the book, but he ran out of paint. That's when he decided to mix his blood in with the paint to finish the painting. Yes, that's creepy. But thankfully, not real. The real reason behind why Norman decided to make Clifford red is as simple as this. He stated that, and I quote, it was red because I happened to have red paint on the drawing table that night. So, sorry guys, it's not as spooky as you all hoped. And in our number one spot, we have Clifford the Big Dead Dog. There are tons of Clifford the Big Red Dog books out there that children just love to read. But this next urban legend is about a boy who discovers a much darker version of the book. So this boy states that his sister was a huge fan of Clifford and had most of the books. It was her birthday coming up and he wanted to surprise her with a book. He talked to his Nana about it and she told him that his aunt was a children's book author who actually wrote a book that was inspired by Clifford the Big Red Dog. She gave him the book and he was going to give this one to his sister for her birthday. However, what he didn't know was that while writing this version of the book, his aunt went a little crazy. So when he opened up the book to give it a read, it was very disturbing. He claims that the whole story was about Clifford dying. It had images of him dead, surrounded by his saddened owner and friends. He kept reading and at page 12, there was a realistic image of a dog's body cut open. But it wasn't of Clifford. It was a photo of his own dog that ran away two years prior. The final page of the book read, Clifford the Big Dead Dog in blood colored writing. Woo! So uh, safe to say that his sister did not receive that book as a present. Starting off this countdown, we have the blank screen. Legend goes that back in the early 2000s, a bunch of kids exhibited some weird behavior. Parents reported that their kids would just sit in front of a blank TV screen and claim that they were watching Clifford the Big Red Dog. Then after their show was done, they would start acting weird. Like they would try to harm their parents or themselves, claiming that Clifford told them to do it. One kid cut off her hair. Another young boy tried to harm himself. In fact, the boy said that if he didn't do as Clifford told him to, then he was going to kill him in his sleep. To this day, they don't know what made the kids do this. I mean, they were literally staring at their TV screens that weren't even turned on. Maybe Clifford was the name of a ghost that was possessing these kids. Who knows? In our ninth spot, we have the scientists. 
Legend goes that Clifford was born as a result of a science experiment that went wrong. According to the legend, Emily Elizabeth's parents were scientists that would do illegal testings on animals in their secret lab. They started off experimenting on rats and other rodents, but eventually they started to do experiments on cats and dogs. Clifford was the first ever dog that they tried to do an experiment on. And Emily Elizabeth, as a huge dog lover, was super upset that her parents were doing such unethical testings. As a result, she went to the lab and turned off the power supply. This was right when Clifford was undergoing some sort of treatment, and it stopped it halfway through. As a result, it caused a mutation in his DNA, and that's why he turned red and grew so big. In our eighth spot, we have the SCP. There's a legend out there that suggests that Clifford is an escaped SCP. Yeah, you heard me correctly. And he's apparently a super dangerous one, too. So this legend states that Clifford was once contained by the SCP Foundation. He is said to be a deadly, shape-shifting creature. One day, a guard slipped up and released Clifford. Clifford then shapeshifted into a guard and walked right out of the facility. Now, his main plan was to destroy the world by shapeshifting into some big creature. However, Clifford can only shapeshift into something that he is currently with. So he can't just shapeshift into this like giant mutant creature. It has to be something that he's physically next to. The next form he took was of a dog, which happened to be Emily Elizabeth's dog. It was said that his weakness was love. So Emily Elizabeth managed to successfully contain a deadly SCP with her love. <laughs> That's a funny legend, I like that one. In our seventh spot, we have the addiction. Apparently back in the early 2000s, there were several problematic Clifford episodes that were aired. Now, you would assume that they were problematic because of the content being shown, but this wasn't the case at all. In fact, the episodes themselves were completely harmless. However, it had a weird effect on the young viewers. Apparently, tons of parents reported that their kids were eerily addicted to the show. So much so that they became super violent and hysterical if the parents didn't let them watch the show. Tons of children had developed an unhealthy obsession with the show. As a result, they had to stop airing the show for a couple of years. When everything had cooled down, the show was brought back to air and everything was fine. So parents still don't know to this day how or why this happened to their child. Making our way down the list, number six, we have the chain mail. Ah, yes, chain mail, gotta love those said no one ever. Now this one is quite disturbing. For quite some time, a chain mail was being sent around containing a picture of an evil Clifford. Clifford was shown to have sharp teeth and was bleeding from his eyes. The chain mail basically said that if you don't send this to 10 friends, then Clifford would come to your house at night and kill your dog. The only ones safe from this chain mail are those named Emily. So for all you Emilys out there, lucky you, you guys are all safe and evil Clifford's got your back. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the cursed image. This next legend began several years ago when people started to believe that Clifford was red because he was actually a demon. And apparently there's a picture out there that shows Clifford in his true demon form. But you never want to see this image, for it is said to be extremely cursed. If you happen to see this picture, then you will suffer from bad luck until the day you die. One person who has reportedly seen this picture claims that it's a picture of Clifford looking into the mirror. In the mirror's reflection, you see a black, humanoid-looking demon with sharp claws, teeth, and blood dripping from its mouth. That's what the demon that is possessing Clifford looks like. So I highly, highly, highly recommend that you don't go around trying to find this image online unless you want to be cursed for life. Moving on to number four, we have the lost episode. Legend goes that a 15-year-old girl named Kelly ordered a VHS tape of Clifford off of eBay. The VHS was titled Clifford the Big Red Dog, Gross Objects. She had never heard of this episode, but she was a huge fan of the show, so she ordered it as a little gift to herself. This episode was apparently just filled with disturbing and gross things. Like, for example, in one scene, you see Emily Elizabeth taking a shower, but she washes herself with cooking fat and potato chips. Then other really messed up things are said to happen. Apparently the episode was so graphic and disturbing that it was reported to PBS Kids. Turns out that this episode never even aired, and it was never supposed to. It just ended up being leaked. In our third spot, we have The Lost Episode Part 2. There are just so many lost episodes out there, and this is another pretty creepy one. Basically, in this episode, the government seizes Clifford and starts to run illegal experiments on him. 
They believe that he is not a typical dog, but an alien dog or some sort of mutated species. Either way, he was deemed unsafe and taken away from Emily Elizabeth and her family. Now, in order to make sure that the word of this big dog never spread to neighboring towns, the government ended up killing Emily Elizabeth and all the people who have ever seen or encountered Clifford. They needed him to remain a government secret. The episode ends with Clifford dying after finding out that Emily Elizabeth was killed. Honestly, people could probably make that into some sort of sci-fi movie. In our second thought, we have the bloody dog. Legend goes that there was once a girl named Sally that was obsessed with Clifford. And I mean obsessed. She owned tons of Clifford plushies, her favorite color was red, and she would always watch the show. On top of that, she would dress up and act like Emily Elizabeth. Now, this is all kind of cute, except for one day she went a little too far. She was upset that her dog wasn't like Clifford. He wasn't red, he wasn't big, and he couldn't talk. As a result, she killed her dog and used his blood to paint him red. Then she cut him open and stuffed him so that he appeared to look bigger. And in our number one spot, we have the themed party. Man, I miss being a little kid, like going to friends' birthday parties. They were so much fun with like pinatas and loot bags. Man, the good old days. I definitely miss that. Now, what does this have to do with Clifford? Well, legend goes that the parents of one little girl threw her a Clifford-themed birthday party. In fact, they even hired an actor that showed up wearing a Clifford mascot costume. This is when it started to take a dark turn. The Clifford mascot looked quite disturbing. It was covered in dirt and stains. It didn't look like a professional costume at all. But nonetheless, the kids were having fun and decided to play hide and seek with Clifford. While the kids were occupied, the mother phoned the company to complain about the mascot. When she got them on the phone, they apologized saying that he was going to be late. He was still an hour away. Meaning that the Clifford mascot in her house was an intruder. She got off the phone and ran down the stairs, but two kids were already dead. Starting off this countdown, we have the sad reality. Legend goes that Clifford didn't live for very long. In fact, it's thought that after he became huge in size, he only lived for a couple of months. Why is this? Well, legend goes that he was just too big. His weight put too much strain on his hips and limbs, and it was too hard on his heart being that big. His heart would have to work three times as hard to pump blood throughout his body. Eventually, his body couldn't take it anymore, and it just shut down and Clifford died. Moving on at number nine, we have the dark magic. This legend states that magic runs in Emily Elizabeth's family. That's why her love caused Clifford to grow. It's because Emily and her family have magical powers. But this means that Emily Elizabeth doesn't love her parents, and her parents don't love her. If they did, then their love would have caused each other to grow super big. But it seems that this isn't the case. It's only Clifford. So it's said that Clifford is the only thing that Emily truly loves. Maybe that's why she spends every hour of her day with him. She feels like he's the only one that loves her, and so the feeling is reciprocated. Coming in at number eight, we have Clifford Hears a Who. This legend states that Clifford takes place in a Horton Hears a Who type world. In this case, Clifford isn't a giant, but in reality, the people in town are just super, super small. Clifford is actually a normal sized dog. Similar to Horton, he is now in charge of protecting the town from other species that may step on them or accidentally crush them. I mean, as outrageous as this is, I'm kind of loving this legend. Let me know in the comments below if you want a Horton Hears a Who and Clifford the Big Red Dog crossover episode, because I kind of do. Moving on to number seven, we have The Neglect. So in the Clifford series, like I mentioned before, it's said that Clifford became massive because of Emily Elizabeth's love. Her love was so powerful that it caused him to grow so big. But why is Clifford the only dog that grew this big? Well, legend goes that all the other people in town don't love their dogs as much. In fact, it's said that they're quite neglectful. Clifford is the only dog that really gets love. All the other dogs are just treated like property and not truly loved or cared for. Moving on number six, we have the harmful owners. Legend goes that since Clifford is so big, his owners can't afford to feed him, and eventually he passed away from being improperly looked after. His vet bills alone would be super pricey. A shot alone could be like a thousand dollars upwards for a dog that size. Then he eats a week's worth of food in one day, and he has a lake for him to drink out of. As a result, it's said that Clifford is not being fed enough, isn't being bathed or taken care of properly. 
In fact, Clifford is Emily Elizabeth's dog, but she's so young, too young to know how to properly take care of a dog. Yes, she loves him very much, but that doesn't mean she knows how to look after him. In fact, in one book, there's an image of Emily Elizabeth feeding Clifford, and the caption for the picture says, it's not easy to keep Clifford. He eats and drinks a lot. The image then shows Clifford with his mouth open while Emily Elizabeth feeds him. One problem, she's feeding him chocolate cupcakes and is pouring hot tea directly on his tongue while Clifford looks like he is in a lot of pain. So she's quite literally harming her dog. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the abandoned dog. Legend goes that Clifford was abandoned by his family at a young age for being the runt of the litter. As a result, his family abandoned him and left him to die. In one book, there's an image of Clifford in his doghouse. The caption for the picture says, they were very kind, but Clifford got lonely. He thought about his own family family, his father, his sisters, Bonnie and Claudia, his brother, Nero. They all live in different places. Now, Clifford was said to be a puppy when Emily Elizabeth got him, as highlighted in the show Clifford Puppy Days or even the book Clifford the Small Red Puppy. So it seems like Clifford was left all alone to fend for himself while his family moved away together. In our fourth spot, we have the Dictator Dog. This next legend surrounds a last Clifford the Big Red Dog book. So for this legend, the narrator claims that they checked out a Clifford book from the library for their child who loved the series. However, this book was quite dark. The book showed a very aggressive and violent looking Clifford. In the book, he takes control over all the other dogs and humans in the town. Anyone who didn't obey his demands, he would kill by either ripping them up with his big sharp teeth or by stomping on them. This legend gets creepier because when the narrator went back to return the book, the library claims that the book was never in their system and they didn't have any records of owning that book at all. And now we end lesson number three, we have the genetic modifications. This legend surrounds the idea that Clifford is super big because of growth hormones. Yep, apparently Emily Elizabeth's parents were scientists and originally got Clifford in order to run experiments on him. That's why he's red. One of the experiments they conducted on him turned him red. They then wanted to see how big they could make Clifford by pumping him with mutated growth hormones. So Clifford is just one big walking science experiment. In our second spot, we have the killer. Legend goes that Clifford was actually sentenced to death. Because of his size, Clifford constantly caused accidents and deaths in the town. These deaths are actually featured in some of the Clifford books. In one book, we see Clifford trying to play ice hockey, but it results in him breaking the ice and kids falling into the freezing cold water. Well, as a result, these kids either froze to death or drowned. Then you have a picture of Clifford knocking over phone poles. Well, this caused people to die from electric shocks. You have Clifford running down roads and causing deadly car accidents, and you even see him knocking over houses and killing families. As a result, he was deemed a killer and was given the death penalty. And in our number one spot, we have the lost episode. There are way too many Clifford the Big Red Dog lost episodes out there. Like, what are we at now? Lost episode number 100? So legend goes that one day the narrator decided to take a trip down memory lane by watching old episodes from her favorite childhood shows. She found this website that had a bunch of old episodes from a variety of shows. They even showed old commercials and everything like that, so it was the complete nostalgia package. She decided to click on the video titled Clifford the Big Red Dog, the final episode. At first, the video was just a black screen, but then her entire computer started glitching. She was unable to close any tabs or turn off her computer. The screen was flickering on and off while pictures of real life dead dogs bleeding were shown on the screen. You could hear people screaming in the background and sounds of dogs whining filled the screen. Then the text appeared. Clifford is dead. Then everything resumed normal. Her screen went back to the homepage of the website. She then went to go find that video to show it to her mom, but when she went to search for it, it was no longer there. Mm -hmm. 